Meanwhile, outside of Texas and Oklahoma, it appears that the Big 12 is in a bit of a down year, meaning Iowa State could play themselves back into the bowl picture. And last night was a good start towards that goal. Iowa State beat TCU 27-14 to move to 3-3 three three overall and 2-1 and one in the Big 12. The defense struggled tackling in the first half, but as a whole, they forced four turnovers and blocked a punt. Those big plays allowed for the ISU offense to break out in the second half. It's back-to-back -back wins for the young Cyclones. The fact of the matter of it is, is we still haven't come anywhere close to what we're capable of playing. That's exciting. Yet, I think there was great growth in some areas, you know, tonight that maybe we weren't as good the week before. So, um, again, growth from our football team, complimentary football is the way you win football games at Iowa State, and it's how we'll have to continue to do it and be better. Complimentary, complimentary is exactly how you would describe last night's win, but if you had to pick one area that stood out, it's the interceptions forced by the Cyclone defense. Iowa State picked off TCU four times. That's the most in a game since 2016 against San Jose State, Matt Campbell's first season. ISU already has 10 interceptions this season through five games. Last year, they only had seven in 12. Bo Freiler had two of the picks. I think it just starts with doing your job and when those opportunities do present themselves, we got to capitalize on them. They did their thing today, and really they, they do their thing, all, you know, every week. So it's just all on, it's put on us to, you know, go out there that drive and, you know, put points up on the board for them. Iowa State is 3-0 and when they don't turn the ball over, and Bo Freeler is a huge part of that.